Hey folks, welcome back to the Portable Gamer. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2017 and welcome back to Lone Oak Farm. So looking up in the top right hand corner, it is a little bit after 6 a.m. on day seven of spring. I did skip ahead a few more days and we are mucking out our dairy barn, which is it's quite a project. Now, I can tell you one thing. We had a 1.5 ton weight a one and a half ton weight on here. I sold that and I got a three ton weight because with our buck rake fully loaded, we were we were getting a little light in the nose. So uh, light in the light in the tail, not the nose, the tail. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, we were we were pulling a, a bunch of uh, stoppies, so we had to get rid of that and go with a heavier weight. We did. It's it's better. Uh, there are heavier weights than this, but you can see, I mean, we're still, you know what I mean? It's still a lot of weight up front, a lot of weight. So we have been keeping busy, taking care of animals, and we've been waiting for seasons to allow us to plant corn. And as we've been doing that, some of our other crops, specifically our canola, has come through a growth stage and can now be fertilized. So we're gonna do two things today. We're going to, well, three things if you count this. We're gonna dump this poo in our bin over here, get this thing parked up, and then we're going to hop in our sprayer, our big horse sprayer, horse, yeah, I said it right? Our big horse sprayer, we're gonna spread some fertilizer on our canola and then we're gonna drill some corn. And I always, every time I say drill corn or, or anything, I always feel like I need to ask the agricultural engineers in the audience, do you seed corn? Do you drill it? Do you plant it? Do you sow it? I know it's different for all these things. And now me, I'm only a fake farmer. I don't understand everything about farming. I know a little bit. I know a few things, but I don't always get it right. So we'll get this thing parked up. And something that I can tell you about our fields that we're gonna be putting corn in today is they don't have any fertilizer on them. And I thought about, get this just right, set the brake, engine off. Something that I thought about was, find our ladder here, there we go. Maintenance required. Okay, so let's uh, let's do this right. So we will go right here. Yep. Something that I thought about was using manure, but I don't know if we have enough manure. We have probably, I'd say, 125 to 150 thousand liters. Just my estimate. And I don't think that's enough to do those two big fields that we're going to put our corn into. I thought about using the broadcast spreader. Uh, or did we sell that? Okay, so we'd have to lease one or buy one. I thought about that. But those fields is probably, I don't know, 15, 18,000 pounds, dollars on this map, American map, but I have everything set to pounds. It's a lot of fertilizer. Oh, okay. I started it, but it stalled because it needs maintenance. It's a lot of fertilizer to use. Especially because our, our corn seeder, our corn planter, is going to put one layer of fertilizer down anyway. And we're also making money with Milk now, we're selling milk. Oh, 15,000. Oh. That's what happens when you don't maintain your equipment. Okay, uh, so we're gonna hop in here. Brakes off, let's back this thing out. And then we'll get our big truck parked. 
Uh, in fact, while we're doing that, hmm, let's do two things. Let's go here. We're gonna need to borrow some money because we do need to fill this with fertilizer and we just spent all our money getting our sprayer fixed. So, let's take this all the way through and, and it can start filling while we park that truck. Right here. Set the brake. Let that fill. So what I'm saying is we didn't have enough manure, ma manure. we didn't have enough manure to do those fields. But I didn't want to spend all the money to either spray liquid, which isn't really, I don't think it's really appropriate. You don't do that, do you? You spray liquid fertilizer on crops that are growing. You don't spray it on empty fields, right? Maybe the broadcast spreader, but I just didn't think it made sense to spend all that money on fertilizer right now when we can let our cows keep making milk that we can keep selling and we'll fertilize these fields after they have corn in them right I think that made sense it, you know what it may not have it may not have but so it goes so we're gonna go down and I think we'll do one tank of fertilizer on our canola and then we'll see where we stand uh, time-wise, because we're at about six minutes right now. Six minutes, Dougie Fresh. And what else is going on? Uh, I think that's about it. The dairy, the dairy is making us money. We're making, oh, I want to say about 12, 10 to 12,000 pounds per day from milk sale. And we do have a lot of expenses as far as equipment and, you know, it costs money to have animals and we're probably netting a few thousand pounds a day, which is not a fortune, but you know what? We're not losing a few thousand pounds a day. So it's, it's all part of the process. The field coming up here, the canola field to our left, which would be east of us, does have three layers of fertilizer from last year because uh, we sprayed it with slurry, I believe, and then we plowed it. And I think that one did all right. It's this one to our, to our right, to the west of us, field 48, that needs some attention. So, first put our wheels out, and then we're gonna put our booms out. And I think, I think uh, it's probably gonna take us two tanks to do this. So what I might do is just spray one tank Take this back to the farm, refill it, park it, and then hop in our corn seeder so we can do two things today in the episode instead of just one. Okay. So you can see we got our tram lines in, and I really... How do I want to say this? I really put a lot of effort into making my tram lines as pretty as possible because I have seen some YouTubers that... Their tram lines are just absolute works of art and the way they like bring everything together and, and link them and tie it off. I feel like they're real farmers. I obviously am not a real farmer, but I aspire to make my tram lines that perfect, I guess. So I really, I think I did it off camera. Yeah, I think I did this field off camera, but I really like did my best to make my tram lines awesome. So we'll see how they all come together here, particularly at the back of the field. Because it's, this turn up, this turn is not too terribly difficult. The one back there in the corner, that irregular section, that's the one that always gets me. So hopefully, hopefully this is all gonna look good. And this is the third layer. Yeah. Oh, it's a little bit ragged right there. A little bit ragged. This is the third layer of fertilizer for this field. So this will be, this is triple fert. So this will be, uh, and we plowed it, right? We plowed it in the fall with the quad track. So I believe this field will be a full double yield, which we can use. And I'm also debating between now and harvest, getting the biofuel plant, which runs on canola. Fill it full of canola, it makes fuel and it makes uh, pig food which unfortunately we can't use 
because we don't have no pigs. I mean, we could get pigs. We could certainly do that. And But I don't know if I want to open a hog farm just so we have something to do with one of the byproducts of our biofuel plant. And I don't know if you can sell hog food on this map. If you could, that'd be great. Then we could make biofuel. biofuel. We could sell the biofuel. I'm struggling with this word. We could make biofuel. We could sell biofuel. And then we could also sell the hog food that the biofuel plant makes. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Uh, I don't think that's possible to sell hog food. Okay, well, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Okay. And I think, I mean, I just jumped in and did the headland first. I didn't really think to do anything else. But I think with tram lines and with with everything set up the way it is. I don't think there's a problem doing it this way. I don't think it's like a, like running a cultivator or something where you want to do the center of the field first and then do the headlands so you're not driving over the same thing twice. I think we're in the clear here. And I also think, uh, we'll see, we'll see. There's a lot of, there's a lot of field to go, but we've only used about 20% of our liquid fert that we have on board. So we might do okay here. Maybe, maybe. Um, so what I'm going to need to do is... Hmm, okay. I'll just play it by ear. This is, this is when I have total respect for virtual farmers that are, like, all about being organized and, like, what to do and what order and how things work out. and You know what I mean? Because there are some farmers that can just look at a, at a field and say, like, I got to do this first and then that'll put me here and then I'll end up here, and then I'll finish with that, and I'll end up back at the road. And I don't always do that. I end up on the wrong side of the field sometimes. If you know what I mean. Right, so... Okay. How are we doing? We're... Uh, yeah, we used about a quarter. When we get to the end of this row, we used about a quarter of our fertilizer for that headland. Maybe we do this in one one tank. Maybe. We'll see. Alright, so turn that off. And we want to go into not that one. But that, that one, not that one. This one right here. Okay. Maybe, maybe. We'll have to see how it works out. And I do, uh, for what it's worth, if you're looking out in front of us there at the cutoff between the rendered crop and the just sort of far away crop, I do have my LOD and my view distance and everything, I do have it all pushed out as far as the game will allow it to be. So I don't, there, there's nothing I can do about that draw circle. That's just a, that's a farm sim thing. Kind of bugs me. I mean, if you get, if you go here, it doesn't bother you at all because you can't even see it. And truth be told, I could probably spend more time in cab. I do. I think I spend a little too much time in uh, drone cam or third person or whatever you want to call it. All right, so we'll do this first person. How about that? We'll do it live. So I think we want to shut this off right about here. And now, now I can't see it. Is it here? It's here. Okay. I think we're doing it right. I hope so. Let's 
let's do this. Raise that up a little bit. I did just bump my, my desk. Well, I say my desk. It's the desk. It's not my desk. It's the Airbnb desk. I did just bump it. I don't have the shock mount for my microphone right now, so if I if I even brush the desk, I get a, a definite thump in the audio. I apologize. But... So it goes sometimes. careful here come on and then where's our extra right here Here we go. And I think, hmm, I think this is the last row before we end up at the edge of the field. So do we want to go back in the corner and do those first? Yeah, let's do that. Hmm, maybe, maybe trying to think how I want to do this because I can't really see from here whether there's two left or one okay let's see how we're doing on juice too we got well we got half a tank I think we're going to be able to finish this field without refilling that would be awesome okay and how are we doing on time 17 minutes man time flies when you're spraying canola So let's try it this way. Uh, oh, because that's that's half a row also. Yep, I'm sorry, I'm thinking about something else. Uh, I'm, uh, I'll show you when we get here. So, carefully. Okay, so this row here, if we go down this row, then we need to deadhead back up here to get this little area over here. But this row right here, I only got half of it because we, we picked it up down there, out past the end of the boom. You know what I mean? So this row right here that we're looking at, we need to do half of it. This row back here, we need to do the whole thing, the one behind us that we just skipped. And then over here, this one as well, we did this part right here, but we did not do this part right here. So let's do this. Let's go down here, do the rows out on the other side of the field, finish with this half row right here, come back in the opposite direction from where we're sitting right now, take care of that half row, back up, and then go back over and do the full row. Does that make sense? It makes perfect sense in my head. But it could be the worst idea I've ever had. I don't know. We'll find out momentarily. And we also need to be careful down here because I want to say the trees are a little, a little tricky. And I don't want to run the end of the boom into the trees. Although, I feel like some long implements, which is going to be sprayers for the most part, I feel like some of these long implements have the collision turned off for just that reason. Come on. Come on.
there is a hole on this side of the field and we were just in it okay we're out of it now yep there's a little divot down there it's really hard to you have to hit it from like three different directions with the cultivator to get all of it all right and I think we're definitely going to be okay on juice Turn that off. Come around there. There's our next row. Right. Right there. So when I was talking about farmers that make perfect tram lines, there's like a whole sequence as far as left turns and right turns and which tram lines connect with which ones and you have to like as you're planting your crops you have to be visualizing hmm. I didn't make this turn tight enough you have to be visualizing where your sprayer is going to go and how you want to connect your tram lines so some will have a right turn some will have a left turn you know what I'm saying and you get all these like beautiful rounded, they're almost like uh, like ramps on a freeway, where everything is like just connected and all flowing together. And yeah, I can't do that yet. I'm getting there. I'm getting there, but I don't. I don't have that zen yet. It is a goal, though. Definitely a goal. So right, we need to figure out which road to turn down. so that we do the half row, right? The correct half row. And then go back and finish the full row. And I'm not gonna look till we get to the end of the field. Then I'm gonna look and see if we got every like square meter of it. That would be fantastic if we did. I think, I think this is where we go right up here. This is where we go down the edge of the field, no? So that means this one. Oh dear. Hmm. And try to back this thing up. You know what? Let's do it this way. Let's go all the way down to the end of this row that we know we already got. We'll turn around and get this one next to us that we know we didn't get. And then we'll go over and get the half of one that we that we're pretty sure we didn't get. I think that all made sense. Ugh. First person, man. It's tricky. It's way trickier than drone cam. And I think the timing is going to work out perfect because we'll go hop in our... Um, is it our Magnum? Yeah, we'll go hop in our Magnum, hook up our corn seeder, and we'll probably just do one or two rows. And that'll be plenty because those fields are so big and there's no reason to to do them all on camera. That would just be ridiculous. So, let's get down here and get turned around. And I know we've got two overlapping rows here. We've got two tram lines very close together. And for the sake of uh, realism, we're just gonna pretend that this very sophisticated sprayer that we're in has a selective cutoff for situations like this which is actually a real thing. It's just this particular sprayer in-game is not equipped with it, but that is a thing. And you can get it, it's the sprayer add-on, and it applies to, um, I wanna say, everything that was released before the sprayer add-on pack is included in it, so that's gonna be the Coon DLC that has a couple sprayers in it, plus all the base game sprayers, I think. And then there's also a sprayer add-on pack of actual sprayers. All the sprayer add-on mod does is let you cut rows selectively so you can turn on half a sprayer, just the center, just the tips, whatever. But there are some, I think there's some base game that is not included with it. 
It's all in the Steam, the Steam store. It's all in the, uh, the Giants Mod Hub. If you go to the Giants Mod Hub and type in Sprayer Add-on, there should be two mods. One is the Sprayer Add-on itself, which is very small, and then the other is a modified Sprayer Pack. It has, like, the Amazon in it and the Coon uh, and the New Holland self-propelled and some various other things. But that does have... You can selectively cut sections of spray, and it is not available on this on this item, but it is a thing in the store. Right, so now we're gonna do that half row. Which is this one. It is. And in fact, there's two half rows. Ah, aha. Uh -huh. There's two half rows. There's this one, and then there's the one to our left. Yeah, you know the one I'm talking about. And you'll see what I mean when we get over here. Oh. This row right here. Yeah. Because we did... We did this row from... Moment. We did this row... from where the tram line comes in on the left down to the trees. So we did it from here down to the trees so we can turn it off right here. And we got all of it. Oh, I'm so curious. Let me set the brake and let's take a look. I'm really curious if we did this right. So. Oh, look at that. Field 48. No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Field 48. Look at that, man. Somehow, hmm, it's like I know almost exactly what I'm doing. Almost. Right, so let's get out of here now. Here's something else. If we bring the booms in on this thing, it's going to bring the wheels in as well. And I believe the wheels, when they're extended, fit the tram line and when they're brought in they don't so I'm just gonna leave the booms out till we get back to the road so we stay in the tram line and I suppose I could have cut up one of these yeah in fact we'll do it right now don't need to go all the way around the perimeter we can cut up one of these and how do we do we used uh, about it's about 70% of our spray. Okay. I thought we'd go through one or two tanks on that field. I'm, I'm impressed that we got uh, good efficiency out of it. Right on, man. Okay. So, down here to the road, back to the farm. Get this thing parked up, hop in the Magnum and start the corn. Perfect. come in fantastic right that's about all the in cab I can handle I gotta go third person again I miss my drone so we'll get this parked and yeah it's these two big fields out here to the west of us uh, to our left 43 and it's not it's like 34 I think 
It is 34. Wow. It amazes me when I guess right. So, in you go. I'm not going to back this in. We can park it. We can park it neatly on another day. Let's just get it in here. All right. Clip through the wall. Right. So we need our magnum. I don't know if there is any seed or fertilizer in that planter. We'll find out momentarily. So this thing, does it need maintenance? It does not. Looks like we just maintained it, probably before we put it away for winter. So that was very responsible of us. up. Plenty of fertilizer, not a lot of seed. And before I forget, I'm going to swap this over to corn because I will forget. And let me bring my head back this way. I have a bad habit of just rotating my head through 360 degrees. filled up. How are we doing on time? 32 minutes. Wow, this episode went really, really fast. Okay. A lot of fertilizer in this thing. Glad we borrowed all that money when we did. I mean, we could always just go back and borrow more. It's not like there's a limit or anything. Close the lids. Here we go. But it just saves a step to take out the loan all at the same time, I guess. Save a little time. Before I forget, let's turn this on. And let's turn that on because we are going to be using both GPS and Proceed. And I think I'm just going to link these two fields since they have that long, I don't know, axis down the road. Whoa. And this is where we started. When we, our first episode of this map, the first thing we did was we started on Field 34, and we started up here in this corner as well, so full circle, yo. Right. And let me see if I can remember all the things I need to remember to do to make this work. And I'm pretty sure, I'm about 90% sure that this is a direct, a direct seeder. So, first thing we do is unfold it. There you go. Let's back this up. Set our width, set the break, turn this 90 degrees, uh, zero offset, set that right there, looks good, and then here for, we're going to go GPS, 36 meters, break off, GPS on, say uh, six miles per hour. 
good speed for, for seating. Man, I hope this is direct. If it's not, it's going to be a short episode. Cruise control. Drop the tool. There you go. Looks like it's working. And we are planting corn. That's a good thing. Right, so what I'm going to do is just, when we get to the end of this field, I'm just going to lift the tool, and then we're going to go straight into that next field. Because it all, you see what I mean, it just lines up on exactly that same north-south heading. So it's, we'll, we'll save a considerable number of turns if we just skip making the turns between the two fields at this road down here. I think that makes sense. That's what I would do if I was a real farmer. That's what I would do. Where's my coffee at? Oh, it's way over there. Well, we're almost done anyway. And I also, this will let us confirm whether or not Proceed is going to put in a tram line. I can't see why it wouldn't. Proceed has got to be one of the, like, of all the drama that you have in mods in Farm Sim, Proceed is, there's no drama. It just works and does exactly what it's supposed to, so should be no issue at all. God, these fields are big. Everything about this map is big. But it's also, it's really well proportioned. I think I've mentioned before I played that Oklahoma map and it was just a nightmare. It was, it was just boring and silly. So I think this is the way Bullet Bill laid this out. It's got a really good flow to it. Everything is uh, just in exactly the right proportions. I like it. Alright, so the little rounded corner here is not going to be exactly pretty, but you know what? Sometimes close enough is close enough. So, so we lift, and then we lower. Beautiful. Okay, and this will also give us an idea, I think, how we're doing on seed and fertilizer and how much we're going to need as far as consumables, how much we're going to need to finish these fields. So we're at, when we've barely used any fertilizer, we've used about 10% of our seed for one length, and that's probably 20 rows across, if not more. So we're going to need to refill this thing just over and over and over. But that's okay, because we're planting this corn for silage, and we are going to make a ton of money from it. Probably, I mean, I don't know, what do you want to say? A million pounds? You think we could make a million pounds with the, the silage we sell from here? If we get a double yield? Let's keep that in mind for later. That's my over-under for gross profit on these two fields. I say a million pounds we make. And you know our goal for this, this farm now is to get the wind turbine? If we have 1.2 million, right, the loan is all the way paid off and we have 1.2 million available to spend, then we get the wind turbine, which I think, I said this last episode, I think it pays 25,000 an hour, 25,000 pounds an hour, or per day. We'll check before we end the episode. Now, this is tricky, because this is a long rig and I don't want to run... You know what I'm saying? I don't want to run the snout of this thing into our canola. You want to lift and then do a headland? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So just to keep everything even, I'm going to lift right there at the end of every row. We may, even with a headland, we may have a little gap, but that's okay. That's okay. Back on GPS. Uh-huh. Interesting. Okay. So we set the brake. Are you seeing proceed over here? It's counting. This is row one. And this is row three. So we... We didn't get our row. So we got to do this. Ah. Uh -huh. It's gonna, it's gonna fight me. Okay, 
Uh, how do we want to? How do we want to do this? Let's just go semi for now, and we'll sort it out later. Okay, breaks off. Um, sorry, I'm thinking. Okay. Did you see what happened with Proceed? Like it was, it's seeing us as starting from the other side of the field, so it made the the row to our immediate right right now. It made that row three, and then it made the one that we're in row one as though we're starting the next cycle. I needed the row to our right to be row one, which would then make this one row two. So I need to be careful now because it, when you go in semi-automatic, it bases your row count on lifting and lowering the tool. So you'll see when we get down here to this road and we lift the tool to go across the road, it's going to bump it ahead and think that the next time we lower the tool is the next row. And that's not the case. So that's how you end up, um, in fact, when we, were, when we were planting last season on this map between these two fields, we were trying to do the same thing and we ended up with some of the tram lines offset. That's what happened. So, yeah, all, all this stuff. I mean, I watch farmers, I watch virtual farmers, and this stuff is just so like second nature to them, so automatic. It really makes me jealous because they're just so, so good at what they do. But I'm, I feel like I'm getting better. I feel like I'm noticing more and more things and averting more and more, uh, I don't want to call them disasters, but you know what I mean. Just catching more stuff before I make a mistake. So, when we go across the road here, we'll have to reset this back to row two. Which is not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Okay, so, we're getting ready to lift. And we have to shut off the cruise control as well. So, lift. And then, oh, it left it down. Okay. Okay. Well, forget what I just said then. Uh, maybe it's in uh, a different mode. I know there's another mode where every time you lift and lower, it considers that to be one row. So it would have advanced us ahead then to row three. But no matter. As long as everything is straight and even, I'm happy. And when we get down to the end here, we'll call it an episode and I'll go ahead and finish all this off camera. That's going to take a minute. That is, yeah. Plus, we need to keep... Um, I think I'll bring our tender over. Rather than running back and forth to the barn, I think I'll bring our tender. But yeah, this is going to be... That's eh, going to take a minute. And with the two fields linked the way we have them, I don't know that there's a way to do it with course play. There might be a way to do it. Uh, I mean, I could just put each field on a worker and hope that the sequence doesn't get messed up, but whatever. I'll just do it manually. I'll just do it manually. Not a big deal. And it's looking like 70%. Uh, it's looking like two rows we used about 30%, so that means we could do six rows, and what did we say? It was, we'll just estimate it at 20 rows across, so that would be six rows. We'll have to, we'll have to refill three times. Eh, not bad, not bad. Okay. And we'll do the same thing on this end so we don't run into the canola down here either will just lift as our weight crosses the edge of the field and then we'll put a headland put a headland on both ends right let's get turned around here so what if uh, let me check something we want this to be one and then if we go back to GPS, it makes this one two. Huh. Well, 
that's what we want to do. That's the secret. Nope, keeps making it row two again. Okay, well, we'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Folks, thanks for stopping back to check out The Portable Gamer. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Farming Simulator 17 from Lone Oak Farm. And we'll see you next time. Take care now.